Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, Aphelia Salazar is a character that was in the first three seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. She was killed off in episode 14 of season 3, close to the end. She was the daughter of Daniel Salazar, who is a badass and is played by the badass actor Ruben Blades. And he's a fan favorite. And yeah, she she's an interesting character. Um, some people love her. Some people are indifferent about her. Some people are happy with her death. Some people are unhappy with her death. It was kind of rushed and, and out of left field. I don't think it was the worst death in, in the history of, of the franchise or anything. I don't think it was a terrible death. Um, it did sort of seem like she had more potential and she was written and designed as a character as someone who would live way longer than three seasons. It just seemed like she was really being built up as a, as a long lasting character that would really evolve and get a lot of character development and that was just cut short. Now I was never madly in love with the character. I was never super crazy about the character. She's not my favorite like Troy Otto or anything. Um, but if, if 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 you if you are a huge fan of Aphelia Salazar and you are mad at her death and you feel like she was killed off way prematurely, then I don't blame you. I mean I do agree she was killed off way too prematurely. If if you just watch her her character development particularly in season two it, it just seemed like she was being written as someone who was going to stay for, for a while at least live to season four or season five at least i would say at least at least season four you know um but, but i mean it was sort of forced and and it, and it was premature because the reason that Ophelia was killed off in season three is because the actress wanted to leave. The actress wanted out. She she had a kid and she wanted to. Uh, I don't know the exact details. I don't know if she had a son or daughter or, or multiple kids or if she had just had a baby or something. But I know it had something to do with a kid and she wanted to spend time with her children or child and and take care of them and that's why she asked to leave. And that's understandable. I mean, you know, people have lives. Actors have lives. You know, sometimes actors don't want to spend too much time away from their childs, away from their children. I can't talk today. <laughs> sometimes actresses and actors don't want to spend too long away from their spouses or their children, uh, you know, especially when their children are really, really young and little. And, you know, that, that's, that sort of thing is just... I mean, when a child's really young, like, you know, one years old, two years old, you want to be a part of their lives for as long as you can. You know, you, you might not want to, to be spending six months, you know, far away from them, you know, filming and, and stuff for a season of a TV show. I mean, you know, it's it's just, it, it's a fact of life. I mean, real life happens. I don't blame her. I'm not mad at her. Um, I mean, I don't think Ophelia's death destroyed Fear the Walking Dead or anything. I, I think the show was pretty okay um, with, with her death in it, with her death in season three. And as far as her dying goes, it wasn't terribly handled. Um, I mean, I liked how it how it propelled the story forward, and and I liked um, I liked what it, what it did with Daniel Salazar's character and how it affected him, and how it affected Madison and Nick and and other characters. And in the episode where Ophelia dies, where she she reveals the bite and she slowly dies, and all the characters like Walker and Madison are are dealing with it. Uh, it was a good episode. It was a good episode. Um, but yeah, I mean, she should have lived longer. And, you know, in a perfect world, Ophelia probably would have died in season four, or season five, or season six. But, you know, real life happened, and that's just the way it was. Um, you know, in season one, she didn't get too much character development. She just seemed like this, this really sweet daughter of Daniel and 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 she was innocent she was innocent and daniel was trying to preserve her innocence and 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 not let her know about you know his past and the, and the things he used to do as a soldier and how he knows how to torture people and stuff like that and in season two she started to get more development and when daniel um basically got separated from the rest of the group and was presumed dead of course he wasn't but none of the characters knew that um Ophelia went off on her own because she was just really bitter about her her dad being dead she thought he was dead 
and she didn't really care about Madison or Nick or Alicia and she didn't want to stay with them I mean in a way this did sort of make her kind of a bitch I mean you know Madison and Nick and Alicia they you know they were all nice to her and 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 Alicia said that Ophelia was like family and Ophelia just didn't really give a shit <laughs> she just left and, and abandoned them and went off on her own and in season three she became a soldier for Walker and um she she killed like she poisoned soldiers at at the ranch I mean on one hand you know Jeremiah Otto was the leader of the ranch and he was racist towards Ophelia it's, I mean Jeremiah was a piece of crap you know um but but I mean I, I'm, I'm sympathetic with Ophelia as far as like the racism and her having to deal with Jeremiah's crap and stuff like that but but you know, poisoning the the soldiers at the ranch. She she poisoned Nick. She she poisoned Nick. Nick almost died because she poisoned him. I mean, that's a dick move. I mean, sheesh. You know, um, she she did kind of turn into a bit of a bitch in season three. I mean, I liked her story. I liked her character development. I thought it was believable. You know how her character sort of descended towards darkness. You know, without Daniel to guide her, and you know without. Madison's group to die to to guide her um she she did descent towards darkness and and became pretty cold and and I I I I liked her development um and then she gets bitten pretty much and then right before she um gets a chance to say goodbye to her dad she dies and she just kind of dies as as this sort of this bitter person I mean she still it, she still seems like she's bitter about her dad and and the person that that her dad was, and how she didn't get how he he didn't spend much time with her, and she mostly just seems sad and bitter, and she, and she died, you know. It it it's it's a pretty tragic storyline for for a young woman that kind of had it rough, you know. She lost her mother in season one. She thought she lost her father, and, and then before she gets to see her father again, she gets bitten, and and you know she had to deal with racism, and and she became a soldier and she hardened and and became a killer and then she dies i mean you know it it, it was kind of a dick move for her to to turn her back on alicia and madison and strand and and, and abandon them i mean th that kind of made me like her a little bit less but i, I didn't think it was out of character or anything i just thought that, that geez that's that's kind of mean but yeah, I mean, I, I thought she, she, she was a well-written character. She was interesting, and you know, I was sympathetic to her. Um, but you know, it is what it is. The actress wanted to leave, and I, th I think considering they were forced to kill her off because the actress wanted out, I think they handled it uh, very well. The episode where Ophelia dies, I mean, it was as, it was pretty much as good as it could have been. I mean, if Daniel Salazar died, I would have flipped my shit. If I had to choose between Daniel or Ophelia, I would have chosen Daniel to live a million times over Ophelia. I like them both. I wanted them both to survive multiple seasons longer, but, you know, if I had to choose between Daniel or Ophelia, I mean, yeah, Ophelia is expendable. <laughs> I guess that's where I'm getting at, you know, Ophelia is expendable. Um, was she killed off too prematurely? Yes, but they had no choice. So, you know, was she killed off too soon? Yes, she was. And she wouldn't have been killed off if it wasn't for the actress leaving. So it really just came back, it really just came down to yes, she was killed off too soon, but the writers had no choice because the actress wanted out. And considering that the considering that their hands were tied in the matter, I think they handled her her death episode very well and it and it was a very good strong episode and it moved the story forward and I liked what it did with you know Mass and, and Daniel's characters and yeah anyway that's all I have for this video so let me know what you think in the comments below don't be shy hit that like and subscribe I'm not going anywhere I make one or two Walking Dead videos per day so please hit that subscribe button Right now we are at 399 subscribers, I am trying to get to 400, so I am one subscriber away from that 400 subscriber goal. Just remember, every subscriber counts, 
every bit of support matters and is very very appreciated once we get to 400 subscribers I will be making a video celebrating um, reaching that milestone very excited for that anyway with all that said I am Spencer Rhodes and I will see you guys later bye